Manchester has spent a week now as a political battlefield, the city's Labour leadership resisting the government's attempts to place yet stricter regulations on the city to try to contain Covid's resurgence. And this morning, the government launched another attack. Why are Labour uh, well, explicitly standing out in Greater Manchester from doing what is right for the NHS, what is right to fight this disease, and what is right for the long-term health of the economy? And why is it that the Labour leader, Keir Starmer, who's calling for national restrictions, won't even himself pick up the phone right. to say to Andy Burnham, show some leadership well, in you. Manchester, put the NHS first. Other parts of the North West have agreed to go into Tier 3 status after local authorities accepted offers of financial support from the government. But the Mayor of Manchester says he is providing leadership by not following their lead. This is pain but without the results, possibly. And I'm not prepared just to kind of push Greater Manchester into that uh, position. As I say, this feels to me like an experimental regional lockdown approach without the funding to support it. And we're not in a position here to gamble people's jobs, homes, businesses. So what will be enough, Mr Burnham? What will, you, what will it take for you to accept the deal? It's the same that we had in March. I don't see why those workers should get less than other people were given uh, back in March. Local and national political leaders can't even agree on how bad the pandemic is. In the northwest, there appear to be disputes on how fast the number of cases is rising and about the number of people in intensive care. We are currently caught up in a political situation which could potentially have an impact on, on, on the lives of patients and the, lives, uh, and, the, and the population in general. So I think we need to get that addressed as soon as possible. Um, I would urge the, the, the government uh, and respective political parties to try to deal with this matter as quickly as possible. The seriousness of this disease is in no doubt, of course, but the argument over how best to contain it continues and Mancunians are no clearer on what their lives will look like over the coming weeks.